All right, people, we're back with yet another cooking challenge. You guys have loved these so far. We've done mac and cheese, we've done potato salad, we've done chicken wings. Today, we got spaghetti on the menu. Let's see who's gonna take home the belt. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. All right, people, we got spaghetti on the menu. I'm here with the champ. Sam, how you feeling? Two wins back to back. You took home the belt on the potato salad and the chicken wings. We got spaghetti on the menu. So I woke up this morning looking feeling smelling like a champion today so i'm going for three in a row today three in a row yeah you don't think anybody will take that belt from you they can try many have tried to take this belt from me many have failed yo 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 fat tony here my guy's coming fat with tony. gifts he got an outfit we got the prisoner make sure this ain't come from the warehouse i don't think so what's going on y'all open this up Yes, sir. Hold on now. Watch out. Open this up. Get two glasses. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Next up is one of my best friends of all time. Little guy with a big heart. He's lost three in a row, but I got faith in him tonight. He's going to bring it home with the spaghetti. What we got, Rhino? All right, man. We got ground chuck, 80-20, and uh, hot Italian sausage. Who is Chuck? That's what the... Damn rapper said, man. Shit. I was, I was trying to ask myself, like, what's the difference between Chuck and ground beef? But that's another topic for another, another YouTube, man. <laughs> and it almost had me confused because I was about to go 93.7 and be on my you healthy. Right, you right, but you I was like, right you know choice. what? Hey, keep your back big. Y'all told me last time. I'm tired of this, man. I'm tired of losing. Thank you, my brother. You I can't have spaghetti you, without red wine. Prisoner, if y'all don't know, Matt put me on to this. Prisoner from Camus. It's not from Camus, but... Oh, it's from Prisoner, but it's really from good. Ca from Napa. From Napa. From Napa. I, I drunk a bottle on the way over here. Excuse me. My God. Can I get some? No. Oh, man. Ooh, that tastes like chameleon. Okay. So, we're going with baked spaghetti. Okay. Um, My couple, favorite. Couple different iterations, adding some, some special ingredients. Y'all can stay tuned to see. Um, trying some different things out. Did a bit of research. You actually are dominating the charts on the spaghetti on the internet. Check out my baked spaghetti recipe and my regular spaghetti recipe on YouTube if you haven't already. I feel like some people took some stuff from you, for sure, but... Don't be stealing my stuff, man. So did I, but yeah. <laughs> you know lasagna is my favorite. Right. So if I'm going to do spaghetti, I'm going to do... Lasagna baked, style. Lasagna style. So we're doing it. ground beef. We're going to do sweet Italian sausage. Okay. And then we're going to pull it together. I got a couple of things I'm going to add to the sauce to kind of elevate it, but... It's gonna be a fun time. I can't wait. Fat Tony in the kitchen. I'm going in with this ground beef. Using the technique I got from Mr. Make It Happen, you press it down on the pan so you get that good char on there. I'm going down with some spicy sausage. Italian? Yeah, Italian. So we're doing half Beef, half Italian sausage. Oh, like a third. 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 Cool. So what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna get my pan to a nice heat. Okay. Um, we had about a medium, medium right now. Yeah, like a medium. A little avocado oil. Yes. I'm gonna take my avocado oil, just coat the bottom. Um, just enough. You look like you did this before. Yeah, man. This is my go-to one, man. I so when a girl comes over, it's spaghetti night. Spaghetti night. Or hey. tacos. Or tacos. Or tacos. So I just put everything in the pan. Let's see. I know this is gonna sound crazy. This is how I figure out if the pan is hot or not. That ain't crazy. Oh, that's every chef in America knows really? that. Oh, yeah. I never knew that. I was like, man, I ain't gonna tell you what I used to do as a kid. What? I used to take water and do that. Mm. Wilding. A little dangerous. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna hit it with some AP on the ground beef. Some chicken bouillon powder. I appreciate this wine, man. You're welcome, man. You deserve it. That man want to go home with that belt. I need it back. It's been, what, three weeks? Yeah. You won the first competition. The first... You've been on a little slide since then. What do you think is contributing to that? I think just me trying new stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to make great content for the people instead of just, you know, letting it be natural and just win the competition. There you go. So. You feel confident today? I do feel confident today. Where do you think that you're going to have the edge? That's, that's really what I want to know. I mean, it's probably something that I'm gonna add to my noodles. Because mm. I feel like if we've been both, all of us have been scouring the internet looking at recipes, everything's pretty similar. So 
I'm just looking to beat them at one mark to take the flavor just one notch up to. So you got a can. secret ingredient that's going to seal the deal. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So, Season as you go, man. I think yeah, that's a good so idea. Now I normally do AP. Do I have any around? Oh, we certainly do, actually. I'm, say, I'm glad you asked. Right. You ain't got no AP. I'm about to start judging around here. Put me on deck. Like Carmack. I don't like Carmax. You don't like Carmax? No, I'm a Blistex guy. Whoa. You like the, the, the Not Blistex, like the blue? Chapstick. You like the blue bottle? Cla chapstick. Strawberry, if we. <laughs> Everything is browning, so I do come in here nice and season. And now we just get everything browned up. Can I just say that this is the most polished Rhino's look? In the kitchen so I'm far. I'm comfortable with spaghetti. You this look, you is, look as my comfortable as you've been in Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't start making my own sauce till I got down here. Okay. And I what be, do you used to use? Um, Prego. Uh. I used to go roast it, garlic, and then, uh, just the regular meat sauce. And then we was in here talking, and I heard somebody shitting on the, uh, the, the jar of <laughs> sauce. I was in the back like... That's me. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet, though. No, I ain't never did that before. I always make mine by scratch. Lying. So I had to go learn. But now that I learned... It's better. It's better. And it's not that hard. I thought it was so much... I've seen online that some people cook the beef first, then add the onions. Some people cook the onions first, add the beef. Since I'm going to add the onions. Well, I don't want to give no edge of them. They're going to see it anyway. <laughs> ah, yeah. So what... uh. Well, which which method do you prefer? I value the crust and the texture of the meat um, the highest. So I want to get as much crust and texture as possible. I feel like if the onions are in there, they're going to interfere with that. So I cook the meat first and then add the onions and whatever else. Okay. That's one of the... It's minor, but that's one of the oh, yeah. details texture, that I've seen. Texture matters a lot, especially in something like spaghetti where it's everything sauce. Right. The reason I went with the hot sausage, I know you, you're not a big fan of spicy foods, Correct. but it leaves me a lot of room to add sugar if I need to. Sugar in the spaghetti, people. Let us know what you think about that in the comments. The Italian's gonna say, what did this guy do? You know what nobody's oh, done difficult. today that I think would be a nice little pro tip for you? Mm -hmm. Take a little bit of that wine and deglaze. Ah, okay, so normally, I don't have wine at the house all the time, so I, I, I kind of been going with what I always have, which is like either beef chicken broth. chicken stock or beef broth, mm. but then I got beef, I'm doing, I am always do it beef broth. Well, but, it's your call. But damn, that does sound good. Mm. That does sound good, so. I thought about it, but I want to be <laughs> We got plenty of wine. Plenty of wine, man. But you, it got to be a dry. This, don't just got like a couple of great notes in it that we might can't, it yeah. might mess what? it up. This is dry enough. Oh, it's dry enough? Oh, wow. <laughs> Different type of grapes. Craisins. I had, a, I, had a, I had a wine that was made out of craisins. You ain't never had that. <laughs> That's your Italian accent? No. I got I to gotta get a little angry to get my Italian accent going. <laughs> Rank his Italian accent in the comments on a scale of 1 to 10. This fucking guy. <laughs> It'll get better over time. I'm working on it. I started working on it last night, randomly. All right, while that's going, we're going to start with the pasta. We're going to go heavy with the salt. Just read the box. That's how long you cook it. All right, so how we doing? Doing good. It's almost finished, and I can add the rest of my ingredients. Also, online, was looking at all these spaghetti recipes that I looked at. I see some people break the uh, beef down really, really, really fine, and some people don't. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's... Hold on. You can't ask them that. What? <laughs> you can't ask them that. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you like Because I'm spaghetti? basically telling you how to make this shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm already you, asking the question. No, I mean, but you're in the process of doing that actual thing. Right. I'm basically telling you how, what I think you should. How you prefer <laughs> to? It's like what you you, you when you make it spaghetti, you prefer uh, mozzarella cheese or oh. or <laughs> cheddar oh, no, I just, cheese. I just saw my notice. All right, we ain't gotta talk about that. <laughs> you ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> Moody trying to win this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Flavor. Oh, get in there now. Flavor town. All right. So, I don't know if Jamel's got that crispy. What do you think about that? You think they should you'll give you an edge with the texture? Oh, for sure. Okay. It's, it's, it's going to do nothing but 
add layers of flavor. So if you had something that you would say to Jamel to improve his technique on the sear, what would you what would you say? What advice would you give him? You gotta make sure the pan is hot for sure. Okay. You gotta make sure it's enough fat and oil in there. And just let it be. Forget about it for a little bit. You know what else helps? What? Sweet sausage has a higher sugar profile, mm. which is gonna caramelize a little bit better. That's it. I was about to say that next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so normally i i will drain the grease but it doesn't seem like a lot but because i've been doing the same thing i think i am going to drain it just a little bit and put it back on just because i don't like a lot of grease in my spaghetti okay because after a while what you need like a ladle like a yeah you know what a ladle is yes what is it it's the big silver spoon some come with Three holes, some don't. Nah, ladle don't have no holes. All right, you edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So. So what you would do is uh -huh. to properly strain the grease. Yeah. Is you want to push the meat to the back. And then tilt the skillet towards you so the grease pools at the bottom. There you go. There How you cook it. Yeah. And then. All right. Boom. 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 There we go. Gotcha. All right. Tim Chat. I don't know. You should maybe you shouldn't bring that because you lost that one. <laughs> you might shouldn't bring that back out. The people know what the Tim Chat is. Going in with these onions. These all yours? Yeah. Pre chopped. How you got pre chopped veggies and it still took you an hour to prep? What was you over here doing? Going in with a little bit of seeds. Matter of fact, I need some AP. That's what I'm gonna need. Yeah. I think we got some of that laying around. And a sec on. So a little salt. Hit it with that salt. Don't leave the house without that AP -Z. We got water boiling in the back. What uh, tomato products are you using? Tomato paste and I got some tomato sauce. San Marzano? No, I actually got a different kind. Mm. It might hurt me. I was in a pinch in the grocery store making making decisions at a fast pace. What you got there? This is that beef bouillon. Get that flavor in there. So now, meat's cooking. So now everything is going to be started. to fry a little bit. So I'm going to cut it down because right now I'm getting popped. And... I ain't trying What's to get next? Burnt. So now I'm going in with my onions and peppers, and we're gonna sweat these down. Sweat them down. Come on now, I didn't even know I was gonna use that word. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sweat them down for a little bit. There you go. Oh shit! What we got here? We got some. Is this FDA regulated? Roasted garlic. No. Roasted garlic, rosemary truffle infused avocado oil. Moody is about to smoke y'all's boots. We building flavors right now. I'm impressed, man. So we're going in with a sweet onion. Okay. Vidalia. No, I just say sweet onion, not a Vidalia. Not a Vidalia, goes with the BBL. My man came down. in with two mason jars on y'all and a bottle of wine. Moody is not playing around, people. I need that belt. I like what I'm saying. Going in with some bell pepper. You know, we can come over and cook dinner for us. Sometime. I heard you love bell pepper. I don't mind that. You I know like what? a good bell pepper. You deserve it. A little crunch. Yeah. Adds a little flavor, in my opinion. Yep. You're doing the flavor right now. Is this your first time trying this recipe? Oh, for sure. Big time. You need to use the top. Yeah, buddy. Ha! There we go. All right. A couple tablespoons of tomato paste. A little beef bouillon. Let that get acquainted with the protein and the onions and the garlic. Then we're going in with the sauce. Then we're going in with a little bit of water. Then we're going to let it reduce. And you're not doing baked, right? You're doing a regular. I'm doing regular. I'm doing okay. traditional, man. I'm doing it. Nothing wrong with that. You know, 
That's my wife's favorite. Hey, man. That's, that's what I she grew up on. She gets mad when I want baked spaghetti. Hey. You know. So we're going to sweat these down for about, about three minutes. Three to, three to five. All right. Three to five minutes. Three to five minutes. Can't have an Italian dish such as spaghetti without any Italian seasoning, you know? So, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Italian seasoning. What's in the Italian seasoning? Oh man, Italian stuff. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't know. I never know. But I know it tastes different, you can smell it. It says it on the package. Yeah, let's read it. Oregano. Mm. Y'all know when I say, mm, that's a word for you. Which Thyme, one? rosemary, sage. Marjoram. Marjoram. Who, who is Margie? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> you know? My <laughs> man said, mm. Hey. All right. Who did not come into play? Italian face. Italian face. Okay. We build a flavor, y'all. Just a little dollop. Rhino look a little nervous over there. What you got for us, Rhino? Something different? No. On two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then we're going down with some roasted garlic. Keep it on deck at the house, right? Gotta keep it on deck. I love garlic. Me too. Roasted look, can't especially. Wait. Can't waste none of it. That's how I made the oil. So I made garlic confit. This should be your look, though. I it think this should be your look. For every joke? Just wherever we go, you gotta... This your look. I could do Fat it. Fat Tony should be like your persona. Let's that should it. be your YouTube channel, Fat, Fat Tony. Tony. Fat Tony in the and kitchen. you just remake pasta dishes. Let's do it. Then I'm gonna go in with the... What I call it is what your mama call it sauce. Get you a couple in there. Watch how that thing sizzle on you. What's the use of that? What, what's the purpose of that? A little bit more flavor. And I like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to put this in my oozy and noodles. You know what the main ingredient in here is anchovies? Anchovies? No. For real? Mm -hmm. Let's look at it. Ancho hey, I ain't never tasted fish when I had that. That's when you don't put a lot either. Umami. Umami, okay. Anchovies is also in Caesar dressing. Did you know that? I know. What's your favorite dressing? Mine's is French. I know that's childish. Very. Yeah. Used to be when I was young and poor, yeah. French was French, French was, was my the shit. One. All uh, right. Probably uh, ranch. Okay. Okay. Now I normally do mixed garlic, but we're gonna go with garlic paste, and I always do it at the end because I was taught that garlic burns very quickly. Mm. You don't wanna, you know, mess your dish up putting the garlic in too early. I'm gonna put this tomato sauce in here. Hunts, huh? Yeah, I think I made a bad decision with this, but I can doctor it up. It ain't too bad. It ain't like it's super generic. I'm wrong with a little hunt. It's the name brand. It's the name about that product. Going in with that salt. I'm interested to see what the differences are between the three recipes. Let us know in the comments if you prefer baked spaghetti or traditional spaghetti. I think that's going to be one of the things that's important to note here. Obviously, the technique on preparing the meat sauce if there is a meat sauce all right well you guys i just made my first mistake i added too much sauce for sure but we probably can cook this down a little bit that but means we're going to be here for a while that was definitely too much sauce for sure yeah i'll put mellow on the time limit next time a bit now so i'm gonna go in the middle with a little bit of tomato paste that's, you know what that's actually a pro tip to toast the tomato paste. You might not know that, mm -hmm. but what you about to do is is a really great technique. Yeah, so I can make some fun and I can make you just oh. broth to get up. But come on, man. I've been paying attention a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. That's like a pro go use a little more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, hey, please. All right. Keep going. God damn. Yeah, now trust me. Okay. <laughs> you are growing before I I'm trying, man. My man said I'm about to build a little fawn and I'm gonna deglaze it with the beef yeah. broth. Yeah. There you go. Make That's it, what this make is it all a little, about. Make it a little orange, like orange you, you reddish. You're messing it up now. Just stop. Like with the, Cut it off right there. Cut it off right there. What color is this orange reddish? Is that orange? What is that? All right, I so like now that. we're going to go down with some crushed tomatoes. Okay. No sandbars I know in the house. No, nah, I guess we... I ain't taught y'all as well as I should. You know what? It's all good. Budget, budget cuts, man. Just, this was on sale. 
Oh, so we'll start that in. My man Moody said he won that off somebody at the pool hall last night. It's hilarious. Oh, you talking about my bracelet? Yeah, man. Show the people what you work with, man. <laughs> Whew. The streets needed that. All right, but what we going to automatically do since I know I added too much of that. You don't want to taste it first just to... I should have tasted it first, right? Yeah, because you added about two tablespoons of bouillon in there. Just winging it. Just, just winging guessing. it right here. This vibes. <laughs> It's just vibes. Cause you know what it feels like it needs a little more salt. I feel like it needs a little more salt. <laughs> I ain't taste it once. Oh, she's seasoned. She just needs some direction now. Need a little more garlic. I'm gonna hit her with the Kimmy seasoning. So, go in with a half a can of the Crush. There we go. Stir that up. Once I stir that in, then I go in with one can of tomato sauce. I am hoping that is one can. You said a can, that's a can, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. No, not that well, one. A little can. Yeah. Yeah, that talking can. ounces. That kind of can. Well, I think we should be good, though, because I did have. Yeah, yeah. I did have. So now, my Italian folks, man, I know this is the part y'all hate, but I... I do add in my sugar to balance out that acidity for all these tomatoes that I have. Cause it can be a lot. Man, you got a lot of you got tomato paste, you got crushed. You know tomatoes. what I want you to do? Mm-hmm. It's taste before I put the sugar in. You know what else you can do to and combat? Turn this joint down before it starts popping on my white shirt. That is actually good already, but I do want to add just a little bit of sugar. Do it. Once I put the water in, that'd be alright. Come on now. What about the nudes? Nudes going in in a sec. Still gonna put a little water in here, let it deduce down just a little bit. A little bit of tomato sauce. Kind of thin it out a little bit. A little bit more AP. Season as you go. Hit it with a little bit of sugar. Or a lot of it. All right, get that in there. Let that reduce down. Let it simmer for a little bit. I'm hoping this is what this is and not so oh, no. sugar. All right. So, we're going to go in. Matter of fact, I ain't even got to do it. I can do it a little bit. There you go. Right. Don't be shy be about it. Be confident, man. I got to be yeah. a little bit more confident in there. Just a little bit. And then, if we need a little bit more, I can adjust it. What else you think it needs? In my mind, I don't even know, man. Taste you know, it. It tasted, when I tasted it the first time, it tastes good. I just knew it was going to be a little bit more. Keep tasting it and yeah. think about it. A little bit of sugar. Italians, close your eyes. Need a little bit of sugar. Cut through that acid a little bit. What we got here? Caught, caught green-handed. The I got to add my peppers in here. You about to add them now? I'm just gonna have to. Well, I wanted to take all day. I could not add them. This is this game time decision. What you think? I can cook them in another pan. Little we ain't mess got time for that. You roll, you rolling over time. <laughs> well, we ain't gonna add the peppers today, y'all. Mm. Damn, I love me some green peppers too. I'm gonna add four of them in there. <laughs> all right. So, like I stated before. Lasagna is my favorite. Base spaghetti is kind of like chiffonade on the on the basil. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little mixture in between to add some flavor. I usually do ricotta. You're not a fan of ricotta, so I'm a substitute for. Some. Are you a fan of ricotta? Yeah. Hmm. I just, I mean, I add so much seasoning to it, then it's almost like I just need it for the texture. Gotcha. So. A little fresh Parmesan Reggiano. Fresh parm. This ain't they name brand stuff either. This is the good stuff. I like where this is headed. Now I think I need a little bit more salt now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Change that glove out. about wild and out. Just, I just feel like I got the bad taste bud because I'm not tasting nothing different. I'm tasting the same thing over and over again. 
What's the next step? Noodles? You just noodles, noodles, yeah. So you gonna cook those, and when we come back, you'll mix. Like it just, it don't take it. Like I don't know. I maybe I that chicken bouillon. My shit haven't grew yet. <laughs> yeah, at this point, that's it. And it can be seasoning. Behind you. That's over there. I don't understand why it needs so much. Now I just gotta get a lesson out to work because I'm 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 not tasting nothing that y'all are tasting. What's that? Basil. A little chopped basil. Pre-chopped. I think they added some. Smell it. Smell like a better aroma than like the traditional compared to smells. I don't know if that. I like the way them smells were smelling. Tastes like ass. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time to assemble. So where'd you come up with the Fat Tony idea? I mean, what did I? a little bit about that. Was it on the fly? <clears throat> Do you think pre-think this or? It was for sure on the fly. We've been doing this 100 days thing. You trying to fuck up your promo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been doing this 100 day challenge, not spending money. I haven't been buying clothes. So I was like, I need to put something on. So. Went in the closet. I ain't dressed up in a while. Okay. I had on a roll-on cologne. There you go. Little chest hair out. Fat Tony in the building. This was witnessed another travesty over here. Never run water over your pasta after it comes out of salted water because you're just gonna rinse off the salt and the seasoning. It's your fault. Unless it's fix too salty, it. then maybe you would do it. You're making spaghetti, never rinse your pasta. Moody paid him off. The fix is in. Fat Tony in the building tonight. Fat Tony in the building tonight. Would you eat that with a chip? Running a quick little test. A ranch seasoning packet? Yeah. These are things that should have been tested prior to the competition. Yeah. You don't think so? No. Make it interesting. No sauce? Let me taste oh, noodles, this is huh? what you said you were going to put on the noodles. Yeah. I don't know if they can take the salt. Risky. Game time decision, baby. This is what champions are made of. The belt is on the line, people. The belt is on the line, Mel. How are you going to act when the pressure's on? The pressure? The pressure's on. You're sweating. I'm always sweating. Lights. Light application. If you go do it, do it. No. You're going to go crazy. Just need the hint to that in there. Hints. Little notes. You feel me? So, all right. So, if I am, if I do decide to mix my noodles, I always put my my noodles in. Damn, it can't stop it. You more of a sauce guy? Yeah. I don't like a lot of noodles. If it's like if it's more noodles than the actual sauce, it, it kind of pisses me off. I think that's why I like to build mines. Compared to just mixing it, because I didn't seen that before. It was like, damn, there's mad noodles in here. But I think we also had to do that discretion shit out. But I can always, I can eye test instead. I can use them. Yeah. What do they call this on uh, Sopranos? Gravy. What do they call it? Gravy. Gravy. Yeah. That gravy baby. I don't know if they would approve of this particular batch, but. It'd be all right. All right, so it's well incorporated. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you got flavors on all the noodles. What do you got? Four ingredients in there, right? Yeah, very simple. Very simple. That's a hell of a tong choice for. You just got to get a sauce. About to go grill some steaks. <laughs> Brontosaurus burgers. Down with the gravy. In with the noodles and more gravy. Dang. It's 
spaghetti sauce everywhere. Wrong, wrong uh, choice of shirt. Right. Now it's time to assemble. Okay. To make sure, you know. Can't be short on the protein. Can't be short on the protein. That's why we're here. I don't even do that. Mm. So what cheese we got today? Kobe Jack and some sharp cheddar and a little bit of mild cheddar. Okay. Yeah. Interesting blend. The Italians aren't going to be feeling that. Why not? What do you say to the Italians that don't believe that cheddar cheese should go in uh, spaghetti? My guys, you got me all wrong. <laughs> they definitely approve of the sugar. Definitely not. I'm definitely going to put sugar in it every time. Yeah. So we can agree to disagree. Thought about it on the fly. It's the, it's the wine, man. It's the wine that flows. those you. creative juices flowing. <clears throat> Sharp cheddar. Moody is cooking right now. I ain't doing no shoes for you, Moody. Sharp cheddar. That's what it's all about right here. You know what? I'm inspired to pop, pour another drink. Go ahead. What? Y'all say it with me, guys. Say it in the comments. You deserve it. All right, now we're going to finish it off with some... Kobe Jack cheese, it's gonna give you that nice color. So what you're saying is Italians can't make spaghetti? No, not at all, you my guys. <laughs> how, how can I pile this thing? You're making a casserole? Yeah. I'm getting another layer on top of here, get some cheese on top. I'm so hungry. What you doing? I forgot something. Acting like Mel now, but put you on the time clock. No, I just he hand me that pepperoni out the fridge. Oh shit! Dad, I gotta grab that other bottle of wine out the car too. He said, "What you making the castle?" <laughs> <laughs> what you making the casserole is nuts. You do that, and you put some cheese on top of here like that, and you know, take some of these, call your girl. She's gonna. All right, man, here we go with the finishing touches. I hope this is a winner. I think it is. So now that once I put my noodles in, my meat sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and grind a little bit of this Parmesan. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at me, man. No store brought in the packet. <laughs> oh, my man said he got pepperoni. Got to have pepperoni the underneath the cheese layer. Get some pep. Let me get a little taste of that. Make sure it's make there sure it's go. kosher. You know, man, I'm getting better with this, man. Let me add this to my my husband um, resume. I ain't playing with y'all this year. I'm, oh man, a whole piece and fell off. Hey, ain't nothing but a little cheese. You can take that out. Oh God, you good? Channel. Probably. We could do a collab, man. <laughs> me and Fat Tony. Making it happen with Fat Tony. <laughs> All right, guys, the moment of truth is here. It's time to taste Rhino's spaghetti entry. How you feeling? One to ten. Talk to me about your confidence level. I'm One not seeing any garnish on here. Yeah, man, you know, I got to get better. I'm getting better. Each each of these however all challenges, I'm getting better and better. I'm just, gotta, I'm just adding to my husband resume, man. I'm going to be good out here, man. I, I will my say when I get nervous now or I bite you, my you you yeah. weirded me out a little bit. Okay. I will say <laughs> I will say that the pasta sauce has coated the noodles well. Okay. I didn't use um, a lot of noodles. I can I lot. talk? Okay. How many wines have you had? Cut them off. Yeah, cut, cut me off. off. All right. I'm trying to give you some critiques here. Okay. I would have liked to see a little bit more parm, but the, the sauce has coated the noodles properly. Okay. Nice al dente on the noodle. I read the box, y'all. But no salt on the pasta. Okay. Overall, it's solid. If I was at a young lady's house and she brought me that, if she threw a little Texas toast on the side, a little uh, 
cran grape or something, I'd be happy. Gotcha. Now, would you eat it tomorrow? Probably not. Okay. All right. There you have it. <laughs> there, there you have it. It's never left over worthy. But we can get through the night with it. That's all we need. <laughs> First and foremost, this is... Mm -hmm. Did you toast it? No. Just put it in the microwave, though. See how much you think of you? That's wild. I'm disappointed. A two-time champion shouldn't act like that. Yeah. Let's see what we got. I don't know, man. Better bring it home. I wish you seen it. So it's a little oily. I'm not exactly sure where that's coming from. I like the, the sausage in there. It gives it a little bit more flavor. Overall, it's pretty solid. The bread was a bad move. You still chewing it from three minutes yeah, ago? Yeah, it was three days. Yeah, yeah it's like a well done steak. And you put it on the plate, you gotta eat it. I mean, all right, guys. Big Moody, AKA Fat Tony. Fat Tony's in the house. I'm gonna give you on presentation alone, you stole the show. I mean, I got to, I mean. It's a well done presentation. You can see the layers in there, guys. I don't know if you can get in there. Pull that cat back. Yeah, there's layers. Let's see what you got. I know, I, I really, I'm pulling for you, man, because you broke out all the stops. You got a uniform. Yeah. You got jewelry. You got wine. Let's see if you got flavor, though. It smells good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I mean, it's a no burner. Let me get in the center. Make sure you ain't trying to hide something in there. That's a bite. Let me get that uh, garlic bread brick from Jamel. No, I don't want that mixed with me. I don't want no parts of that. What would you have done to enhance? I know it's something that could have been. There's a couple things that you messed up on, but overall you did well. Did, did a good job. Um, all right, guys. We got Fat Tony here with four buttons unbuttoned. We got... One of the better baked spaghettis I've had in recent memory, including my own. And brother, you deserve the Make It Happen Cooking Championship belt. Man, I've been cooking Fat this. Fat Tony is here. I've been cooking this since third grade. Okay. So. Congratulations, man. You deserve it. I'm just happy to have the belt back. It's been a while. I've been letting you down. You have. But we I've back. I've been a little disappointed in I you. I made it happen. There it is. Stay tuned next time. Let us know in the comments what the next cooking challenge should be. Let us know if you think Rhino will ever win one. I got faith in my guy. Come on, come on, come on. Get in here. Have you a swig. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, people tune in. Thank you guys for watching.